Hello everybody, this is GLR for 24-7 Ball Sports with what I believe to be the only AHD AFS in the country. Um, the AFS is part of the AHD's uh, light wind range, uh, so they do a, a selection of boards which will enable you to, to get going next to, next to no wind at all in theory. Um, but this, um, just below me now, is probably the crown and jewel of that system. So um, this is their hydrofoil board, it's been out for a little while, um, I've really just managed to get our hands on one. Um, but this is it, so what I'm going to do, obviously I'm dressed in a wetsuit, I'm going <coughs> to go through the, the building of it and let you know what items come with it. Then I'm going to bolt it to a rig that I've already rigged up, go into our lagoon, um, which is ultimately not the ideal conditions. It's a little bit gusty, um, but the water state is perfect. So I've, I can either go the lumpy stuff out the front with clean wind or out the back with flat water and ropey wind. So. We'll see how we go. I've foiled before on a Haru. Um, I reckon I've probably had about five hours, so this isn't unfamiliar for me. Um, but it'd be interesting to see how this one works and how easy it is or not. So um, you guys will be seeing it as I'm doing it. So this is the first major voyage of it. So onto the product. Um, the AFS comes with a slightly different shaped board. Um, it's got a hole in the nose. A lot of people think that's a gimmick. The reason why they've done that is when you're actually foiling, there's a lot of windage under the nose, and that can actually make the board start to fly a little bit. So eliminating that area, which you don't actually need, um, it will just help the board trim flat when you get going at speed, which is which is great. But it does look a bit odd, but actually I think it looks really quite nice. Um, I think all of the board looks absolutely stunning, personally. Um, onto the foil side of things. Um, <coughs> I would say that, I mean, I've been around some kite foils for a little while now. Um, They've all been a little bit of a fiddly thing, there's lots of screws and so on, which is how they're manufactured and how they're constructed, but that, and that's fine, they do work very well, but I think this system here that I'm just about to show you is by far and away the easiest, best system I've, I've ever come across. Um, there is nothing to go wrong with effectively, so uh, maybe we'll see this sort of system on other foils in the future, but I think this is just foolproof for anybody who's uh, getting into foiling and certainly struggles with Meccano sets. So um, this is it, you get the fuselage, um, <clears throat> with AFS 1 embossed in it, which is really, really nice. Um, not particularly heavy, I've weighed this stuff. Um, I don't know, a couple of kilos for that piece, I suppose, something like that. Um, quite a bulbous, thick fuselage through here. Um, a lovely taper, but all of the shapes that work together, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's the fuselage. This is the rear wing. I'm sure there's a word for it, I can't think of it right now, but who cares? Some bits that come off the edge of the wings. Um, this is the rear stabiliser, so this actually trims and works a different way to the front wing. The front wing is quite large, <coughs> but you know, we're picking up a lot of kit. It's um, Kite surfing doesn't have that equipment load on it, as well as the pilot. It's only got the, the pilot and Jerry, that's about it. So the wings on windsurf foils, I think, are always going to be a little bit bigger, maybe slightly lower aspects, so they actually help you lift and, uh, and take you up. And then you get two little cones. Now these are fundamental to the assembly of your foil, um, which I'm going to put together now. So we'll start off with the rear wing. Hopefully Dan's picking this up, I'm not clouding it. So it's very easy, you've got a lug there and there, and you're going to put them together. Like so. You get the small cone, twist it in. Not too tight, but secure. Same at the other end. Exactly the same. The shape and the fit on this. I was I was staggered the other day when I put, pulled this out of a box. It was absolutely miraculous how they got it together. Go so well. Pop in. In. Next cone. Is the cone. This has obviously got the, the longer thread because this is going all the way through this section here. You know, I haven't used a screwdriver yet. any any tunnel box fit so um, what I'm going to do I'm going to go and get my screwdrivers because I forgot it and put it all together and I'll see you on the other side of the uh, of the beach here um, just about to be launched see you in a second 